Thank you, man. I'm making some fish. Hey, guys. This is Pete with another episode of North Florida Smoke. Uh, today, we are going to be tackling tuna steak. So uh, it's, it's a seafood Sunday here on North Florida Smoke, and uh, and we've got the Kamado Joe outside that's heating up and uh, ready to go to sear up some tuna steaks for us. So happy you guys have joined me again today. Thank you very much for checking out our previous videos. Uh, please make sure to like, rate, and subscribe uh, down the bottom there. And we're going to go ahead and get started and make some delicious tuna here today. So this is going to be satisfying the uh, sushi craving that I've had recently. I would much rather go get a tuna steak, uh, sear it off myself and cut it up versus uh, going to a sushi restaurant and having somebody do that for me. So, um, you know, very comfortable with seafood. I've cut a lot of fish in my day. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get this seasoned up and get it ready to throw on the grill. Say whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, once again, this is a Kamado Big Joe. Uh, this is a charcoal cooker. It's a Kamado style grill, similar to a Big Green Egg, if you've ever seen one of those before. And uh, this thing is awesome. I picked it up used, got a great deal on it, and uh, it's been fantastic. All right, guys, let's go ahead and light our Kamado Joe. We're gonna use this weed torch here today. This is uh, something I bought off of Amazon. It's only like 40 bucks, but it's a flamethrower. <laughs> so this thing is awesome. I'll give you an idea about what it can do. This could then get super hot. You can see my buddy Penny here has come to check it out. She loves this grill. She knows that all sorts of good stuff come off it. <laughs> so you can either just take the flame, put that down in here, but if you feel like So I'm really trying to get a fire started here. Take this through a couple times. I've got a fire started in there. I'll show you what that looks like. So as you can see here, there's a nice fire started in my firebox. And uh, that's what we're looking for there. We got the top vent wide open. We want to keep that fire going and we want to get this thing nice and hot uh, so we can sear up that tune on both sides. And I'm going to go for around, uh, you know, 450 plus, probably around five or 600 degrees. That's what we're trying to get this thing up to. And that's going to give a nice sear on both sides of our we're tuna steak. Go ahead and get this tuna steak unwrapped here. I've got a yellow fin, uh, fresh, never frozen tuna steak. Pick this up at our, our Publix Greenwise Market, which we found recently. Uh, it was a cool shop, never been in there before, but it looks like they've got a lot of cool meat and, and fish. And uh, whenever I can find stuff that's not farmways, that's what I'm gonna go for. So um, we picked up this steak here today, and let's give you a look. This is a nice big uh, yellowfin tuna steak. So I'll show you here. This is going to be excellent seared at a really high temperature on our Kamado Joe. Uh, for that today here, we've got some sesame oil. We've also got some black sesame seeds. We're going to be using both of these today. And uh, so the first thing we're going to do is add on some sesame oil. We're going to get that rubbed up here on both sides. And then on our other plate, we're going to pour our black sesame seeds. And then we're going to take that steak and we're gonna pat it on both sides to make sure that it's covered. I'm gonna go ahead and take my sesame oil and I'll just pour that over the top of my uh, fish here. And I'm just looking for probably, uh, I don't know, it's probably roughly about two tablespoons or so. And I'm just gonna try to get that covered uh, on this whole uh, piece. Got of our steak all oiled up here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, black sesame seeds to my plate here. So this is probably around a fourth of a cup of black sesame seeds and I'm just gonna kind of wiggle the plate around here so that it's a nice flat bed. Take this tuna steak that's been all rubbed up and we're just gonna drop it here and kind of move it around a little bit uh, within those sesame seeds. So we're gonna pull that up. Now you can see it's completely covered on the outside. I'm gonna reshape the plate and I'm gonna get that so it's covered again and I'm just gonna lay it down here on the other side and just kind of pat it into the plate. And now I've got my other side sands a bit that's completely covered um, with those black sesame seeds. All right, so it finally stopped raining here and our Kamado is creeping up towards 500 degrees. So that's what we want. We are out here. The Kamado Joe is over 500 degrees and that means it's time to sear this tuna steak. We're gonna go ahead and roll that North Florida smoke. All right, we're gonna bring you inside the Kamado Joe. This thing is at 500, a little over degrees and we're gonna go ahead and burp it here and get it opened up. And if you can see down in there, there's some nice red coals. And that's exactly what we want here. Uh, this thing has been heating up for a little bit and it's right around that 500 degree mark. And so we're gonna go ahead and throw our tuna steak on there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and let that go for about two minutes. 
All right, guys, we're back on the Kamado, and uh, it's been two minutes. Burp her up here, and then we'll go ahead and get right under there and flip her straight over. Um, so that's got a nice sear on the outside there, and uh, got a nice flame going here, so nice high temperature. Another two minutes, and we'll pull her off. All right, we got about a minute left here. We got our Kamado hovering right around the 500 degree mark. But I'm just gonna bring you inside here. Just take a look at that tuna steak. This looks excellent. So this thing is searing up here. Got those nice hot coals in there. And this is cooking exactly according to plan. All right, this thing is ready to get pulled off. So uh, this thing has been on here for about four minutes now. It's uh, locked in those sesame seeds, nice crust on either side. Inside with our tuna steak and everything looks excellent. We're gonna let it rest for probably about five minutes or so. And then uh, once that's done, we'll throw it on the cutting board here and get it sliced up for you guys. Our tuna steak is done, it's rested, and we're ready to, uh, to slice it up here and see how we get. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn it uh, to this side here. And we're just gonna start cutting down against the grain and just taking some slices off there. As you can see, it's got a nice rare uh, texture to it, nice and um, you know red in the middle there. And that's what we're looking for. So we'll slice this up. Uh, this is our kind of ahi tuna, if you will. And this is some beautiful yellow fin that we are going to enjoy. All right, guys, well, this concludes today's episode of North Florida Smoke. As you can see, we've got some eating to do on this beautiful uh, yellowfin tuna steak. So thanks for stopping by, guys. Uh, please make sure to like, rate, and subscribe, and check us out next time. Here we have some fish.